emotional aftermath and the devastated lives that are left after violent knife crime have been highlighted in a recent very powerful documentary titled Grief, produced locally in the West Midlands by the Express and Star. And it's a really poignant reminder of a call for action and awareness and features the brave stories of two grieving families, or two sets of parents, one from my constituency. I know the, the hope that the Home Secretary takes this issue very seriously, but can my right honourable friend provide us with an update on when we will see legislation coming forward to tackle the ba uh, and, and deliver a ban on machetes and zo zombie-style knives? Mm -hmm. Well, can I thank my right honourable friend for all the work she is doing uh, on this issue uh, that I've witnessed firsthand, having visited her constituency and met uh, with um, uh, one set of uh, those parents that she mentions. And I would praise them for all the work they are doing in turning the tragedy that, that uh, befell them into uh, some positive action. Uh, she kindly mentions that the Home Secretary is committed to, uh, to this issue and is, is continually looking at what more uh, can be done. Um, I think the particularly sta particular statutory instrument that she is uh, referring to, um, which was laid before Parliament on the 25th of January, is currently on remaining orders um, and is to be debated uh, in, in both houses um, uh, yet. Uh, but I think that will be extremely soon, and she knows that we are making progress on